For seven years, there have been suspicions. Now there are formal charges. Dr. Michael Swango, who's been suspected of poisoning patients around the world, is now charged with what prosecutors call a reign of terror, three murders and one assault. Swango inveigled his way into the confidence of hospital administrators across the country and the world. Once in their trust and in their employ, he utilized his skills to search for victims and take their lives. Prosecutors announced the indictment on Long Island where Swango worked at the Northport Veterans Hospital in 1993. The indictment accuses him of poisoning four patients using paralyzing drugs, then lying on their medical charts that they did not want to be resuscitated. After Northport, he headed to Zimbabwe, Africa, where he's suspected in other poisonings at a church hospital. It's only because of recent advances in science that prosecutors say they could detect the poison in the victim's exhumed bodies. The timing of the indictment is no accident. Swango was set to be released from a federal prison this weekend. He served three and a half years for lying on his job application at the Northport VA. Now, instead of being released, he'll be returned to Long Island to face murder charges. The granddaughter of one alleged victim, Thomas Sam Marco, cried when she heard the news. He kept saying that he's the devil and get him out of the hospital. And we didn't listen to him, so when we found all, all of this out, you could imagine how upset we were. Author James Stewart investigated Swango for a book detailing how he allegedly turned a career of healing into a career of killing. Somebody who essentially chooses victims at random and kills them out of a sense of godlike power and omniscience over other people. And he very much fits that pattern. If convicted, Swango could face the death penalty.